Okay, hello everybody. Uh, go ahead and get started. It's the top of the hour. So hello and welcome to the infrastructure functional group update for September 2017. And so a quick rehash of the OKRs for the infrastructure teams. Uh, the goal of the infrastructure team is to ensure that GitLab.com is ready for mission critical tasks. This includes an availability of GitLab.com at 99%. 99% uh, of user requests served in under one second and completing the top 10 risk assessments. Accomplishments. So first up for production, the GEO testbed is up and running. We are now actively working development on GEO. So that's great. This is the future of our redundancy. So that, that is off and going. Um, Elasticsearch, we are slowly, very slowly uh, backfilling our Elasticsearch cluster to enable using it for searches at gitlab.com. Um, we've added feature toggles to dev.gitlab.com also. Uh, so this has removed the bottleneck in the Gitly testing process. C groups are now in around Gitly. Uh, Ilya did a great job of wrapping Gitly services up inside of Linux C groups. Uh, it's, it's a jail that makes it so Gitly cannot take all of a system's resources of a file server. Uh, therefore, it can no longer crash a file server. Good stuff. Uh, we are slowly moving uh, artifacts into S3 object storage. So object storage will allow us to gain redundancy and the ability to scale and remove another single point of failure. We uh, currently have a proof of concept that can build staging on demand environments. And as we speak, we're rebuilding the front end fleet and removing all uh, nested mount points. Uh, nested mount points can cause a lot of problems, particularly with LFS. So those are going to go away. Next, database. In 10.0, we're finally getting rid of the old event setup. This saves us around 165 gigs of storage. It was very large. Uh, we initially estimated 140 gigabytes, so we did better than expected. There's also potentially a reduction in the amount of buffer caches that are being used by the events tables, but we still need more deployments and measurements to, to verify this. The P99, oh, excuse me, the P99 of global SQL timings is closing in on that 200 millisecond barrier. Uh, during the week, we're averaging 230 to 260 milliseconds. Uh, the disk setup on our primary database has been improved, thanks to the production team. Uh, so that matches the secondaries, leading to much better I.O. wait timings. Also, the high load, high database load that before was taking production completely offline is now only increasing replication lag. Uh, we're finally using PG Bouncer from Omnibus. And be it, there's still some manual tweaks, but we, there is an open issue to fix the last of these and remove them. Uh, migrating all events to a new schema, uh, we, moved, we moved to somewhere around 100 million rows. And it was a background migration and went very smoothly. And it was estimated to take about seven days, but after the disk change, it, we did it in under four. So Giddily, Giddily Ruby. So Giddily Ruby is working well and is helping the team to perform the migrations to Giddily at a faster rate than before. Um, and there are currently 13 new migrations ready to be tested in GitLab 10.0. So the team also built the Giddily benchmark tool. This was designed to help test the C group functionality. However, uh, it'll also help in the future with optimizations and stress testing. And GDK, Giddily is opt out now in the development environments by default. Uh, this means more developers will have to use Giddily by default. It'll be turned on by default and people won't forget to turn it on. Uh, and plus one detection. So there's some badly performing code hitting rugged and Giddily inside a loop, and that's the primary Git performance problem we have on GitLab. Uh, there's a merge request now that'll cause an actual build to break for most new N plus one problems that are accidentally introduced into the code base. So we're being a lot more proactive now about stopping new N plus ones from even happening, you know, getting to code base. And there's a new acceptance testing template. It's gonna speed up the testing process. Uh, it auto-generates uh, the template with custom links directly to the right searches in Kibana and our Graf, uh, Grafana dashboards. So, and there's, there's a good example there. On to security. Security uh, vulnerability scanning improvements. This includes a new VM for it, a custom scan rules, the addition of all cl cloud providers and scans, Azure AWS and DigitalOcean, divisions between GitLab.com web scans and the network scan of other assets allow scans to to happen more frequently. And there's a custom report of the summaries that's sent to Slack in the email. Uh, application auditing improvements, external logging. 
Uh, we're now logging successful and failed logins, uh, account lockout events, new account creation, email confirmation, admin logins, uh, login failures with uh, one-time password and UTF. So a lot more visibility into what's happening. And we've performed security audits on both AWS and Azure. Uh, now we have to go to concerns. Uh, the inability of testing Chef cookbooks changes before it goes into production has unfortunately impacted users. Along with changes to load balancing in the PG Bouncer database in the production environment had led to an outage. Uh, there's also load induced outages. We've had high CPU and load on the backend NFS servers, causing a lot of pain. Uh, you know, we found projects running 400 uh, builds and one of our first Git hotspots. And we're also having outages from our provider. Now we've had host routing problems. We've had the, the database load balancer just stop working. And at least twice I know of NFS servers have just rebooted unexpectedly. Another concern is Geo is only capable of syncing about seven gigs of data per day right now. We have 107 terabytes. That roughly breaks down to 40 years to move everything. So we have a lot of room for improvement there. Database concerns. Um, while we're getting close to that 200 millisecond barrier, we are not going to break it. So we'll miss the OKR of all of the uh, global P99 SQL times being less than 200 milliseconds. Like I said, they're at 240. We're approaching it, but we're not fully there yet. Uh, the GPG keys uh, feature had some database scaling issues very early on. And we're wondering if we could have caught that in the review process a little better. And I think in the plans, you'll see we are working towards that. Uh, and a big need help. Uh, we just need to get more people actively working on AP1, 2, and 3 issues for the database. Giddily concerns. Uh, recently discovered N plus 1 problems in GitLab CE. Uh, some of these routes will query rugged plus NFS or Giddily hundreds, even thousands of times at a single HTTP request. We saw Thursday morning. I believe we were up to about 5,000 requests in, in, on the Giddily. Um, and needs help, uh, Giddily needs, uh, we need to work on the nightly staging environment to help Giddily debug and move forward faster. It's all seen in the plans. Everything's in the plans. Security. Uh, CI abuse trends. Uh, we're seeing a lot of kind of smash and grab abuse of CI. We don't really want to go into depth in a public forum what's happening. Don't want to give too many people ideas, but it is really impacting uh, the CI availability. So we're going to need to require quotas on the number of running jobs, as well as existing minutes quota that's there. And the logging infrastructure is still too fragile. Uh, work is being done. We're moving forward a lot on it, but we still got it to go. Plans. So plans, what are we going to do to, to address these? So first, we're completely revamping staging. We're going to make it production quality with full SLAs on it, and we're going to call it pre-prod. And it's going to be an exact mirror of production. Uh, we're going to have a new staging environment. These are going to have full sanitized production databases so that developers can log in. They can run queries against a, a large database. They won't require any help from production infrastructure anywhere. So developers will have full access. And we're going to plan to throw GitLab QA into the development process. This is an end-to-end -to -end testing uh, tool. So in pre-prod, we'll be able to test and to end any deploy, so we'll gain a lot more confidence about our deploys being successful. And of course, it won't be perfect to start, but as, as we go on, we'll learn better tests to write for it and improve it. So for Giddily, uh, Git fetches and clones are already go through Giddily. However, in the coming days and weeks, we're gonna trans uh, be transitioning HTTP and SSH Git push to go through Giddily. And as Giddily is, Giddily always migrates. More and more migrations need it. So the security team is looking into a paid bug bounties program. I think it's initially a small invite group, but growing from there. And we're working on an incident re response policy. This is the creation of a comprehensive incident response framework. Uh, this will put all the existing policies and procedures under one umbrella. And there's a return to the content security policies, uh, full implementation of the content security policy, both on gitlab.com and inside the GitLab application. Last but not least, the team needs to grow. We're adding bodies and people all the time. And these are the opening positions currently. However, you know, 
If you go to about.gitlab.com slash jobs, you'll see all of the openings we have. And uh, thank you. And uh, I'll open up the questions in the chat. See what we have. I have to, of course, figure out and stop sharing my screen first, but. Uh, there's, no, I don't unmute her. Pause her. Oh, I'll look at the chat. Future Toggling Dev is great, great uh, for Gilly, but also for uh, devs using Future Toggles. That's, uh, we're using Future Toggles mostly only for infrastructure level um, items. You know, we're not going to put everything through Future Flags and Toggles. But I guess it's up to the individual team. And OK, well, I'm not seeing any more questions. Anything? Oh, well, that was fast. I guess everybody gets some time back. So thank you, and uh, see you in the team call. Thank you, everybody.